that's the direction we need to go, where that little bugger is. Don't lag me out now. Okay, this is getting me nowhere except for destroying the landscape. Let's just move on. Dig a little place to get out of sight for a few minutes. All right. Progress in that direction is going to be problematic at best anyway, because we're over another large body of lava. And while I don't mind sky bridging across it, not when I'm being shot at. Try going around it, though. That's not going to be so easy. <laughs> well, looks like I can sky bridge it though. Just top off my cobblestone and give it a shot. on fire on top of everything else. Oh, 
Okay. gotten here. That way is the only way I need to go. Right. Trying to keep my path marked with torches so that I can navigate back this way should I have to, and I figure eventually I will have to. And now, let's try going this way. More tunneling. again. I see the usual depressing nether terrain. And I seem to have misplaced my entryway into this area. I think first priority is going to be to find that and get it marked so I can see it. Press on. This quest for the nether fortress is turning into something of a real pain in the butt. But it's necessary to find them, to find at least one, because that's where the blaze spawners will be found. And they are a necessary ingredient to get blaze rods, which are essential for any potion making. 
I believe they're also a source of netherwort, or the source of netherwort, I should say. Some huge mongus uh, patches of glowstone. That's great. There's a dark spot over there. Let's have a look. Well, assuming we can get to it. I guess we're building another bridge. Wow, have I actually finally found one? I hate to think of how far I've gone in the overworld. Remembering the uh, 8 to 1 ratio of distance, nether to distance in the overworld. I should definitely have brought obsidian. the last stone pick and I don't have a crafting table so I'll be using diamond for the moment what is that sound I don't suppose I can take them out from here. Well, I'm being targeted now. Oh, come on, fire protection. one of those nether slimes. I got him! Now I just have to get over there to him and pick up my spoils. I'm very interested in spoils. I just hope that it's not right in the middle of a spawner. You mean I don't get a blaze right out of that? Well, you cheap so-and-so. Okay, that's fine. Having found the fortress, I know there is blaze spawner in here somewhere. At least one, possibly more. And this seems to be a fairly good sized fortress from the looks of it. Although with the what seems to me to be typical incomplete construction 
or perhaps it is simply ruins. But that's all right. All right, what I'm going to do now is cut my way through here. <coughs> Throw away some of this nether rack so that I can collect the nether brick. And now I'm going to follow my torches and get back to where I came from and pick up some supplies. Uh, wood, chests, some obsidian. And come back and set up a base here. Obsidian so that I can set up a portal back to the overworld and have a look at what I've got there. Who knows? So this is going to be a long and hopefully uneventful trip. All right, we're arriving back at the Gizmos Island portal. And I left the door open. Imagine that. All right. Let's see. I'm going to drop off this nether rack. I'll easily collect more of that. And let's see. Oh, good. Got a couple more iron picks here. And a stone pick. Alright. Go ahead and top off my torches. And the arrows. At least bring it up to four stacks. Alright, the rest of what we'll need is on the other side. I can see that this is going to end up being a a good long nether track because that's going to be a pain in the butt to walk it the whole time every time. All right, let's see do we need anything here. Uh Need lots of torches, we've got those. Arrows, we're okay there. Cobblestone, I top off a little bit of that. And let's ditch that. And make another iron shovel. Okay. Topped off on cobblestone. Don't need anything here. Tell you how long ago that was. That was back when uh, pork shops didn't stack. Oh yes, let's bring along an extra flint and steel. That makes sense if I'm going to be building another portal over at the uh, Stronghold. All right, let's go. Right. Okay, you screaming hissy. Okay. 
This is where I need to be anyway. Putting those little bits of cobblestone along the way to mark the path because it's too easy for torches to get blown away. This way, if my torches get blown off, I can still find the way by following cobblestone. And eventually, the cobblestone will form part of rail bed for a minecart track. times when sprinting comes in very handy. I wouldn't want to be on that one wide bridge when something started shooting. This is going to be a long minecart track, I can tell that. Making some progress. It's a long way, that's for sure. Be interesting to see just exactly how far. Let's top off that cobblestone. Just in the interest of safety, 
I feel like blocking that off. close, I think. Okay, there it is. We can see it. As I recall, over here, there was a way in. Yes. All right. Now, there was Blaze spawning over there last time we were here. This place is most assuredly going to need to be lit up. And a lot of cobblestone is going to have to be laid down for our additional flooring. Somewhere around here, there's a blaze spawner. Because if they were spawning over here, I would assume the blaze spawner would be somewhere within 16 blocks. Unless the rules are different for them. This place is quite extensive. I hear blaze. Spawning in there, perhaps? If they are spawning in there, then Lighting up every bit of it as possible to reach is the best idea. 